will now plot the x-intercept. X-intercepts are points at x0 on the plane that lie within the x-axis. So earlier, we defined what does x-intercept means. X-intercepts are points that found within your x-axis. So your x is any number of your x-axis while your y becomes 0. So we will now plot point P. Point P is composed of 2 and 0. Your x is 2 and your y is equal to 0. So we'll now plot. Since your x is 2, so we'll slightly sketch a vertical line, a horizontal line, vertical line rather, on the x-axis which is 2. And your y is 0. So we'll lightly sketch a horizontal line towards the point 0. Now, step 3, we'll now plot a point where two lines meet. So this is where your point P is being located. As you observe, your point P is found within the x-axis, not in quadrant 1, not quadrant 2, not quadrant 3, and not in quadrant 4, but within the x-axis. Another example, plot the point Q on negative 0, negative 2, and 0. So following the same step, you lightly sketch a vertical line in your x-coordinate, which is 2, and horizontal line towards 0, which is 0. So, and your point, plot the point where the two lines meet. So this is where your point Q is being located. Again, the light or the li the line rather are just your guide in plotting the points. You can erase those lines after you plot the points. So that is how you plot an x intercept. Now for the y intercept, following the same steps, y intercept are points at zero y on the plane that lie on the y-axis, not on the x-axis. Sorry for the typo typographical error. Now, in this case, your y-intercept is composed of 0 and y, where your x now becomes 0 and your y is any number at your y-axis. So, we'll now point, we'll now plot the point R. Following the same step on the previous plots, or previous points rather, we'll identify your um, y coordinates. Since your x is already at zero, so we already know where does your x plot is being located. So now have the guide or the slightly sketched line for your guide to plot the points. Since your y is a positive, so it is located at the upper side of your plane. And your 0 is at the origin, so towards the, towards the point, you can now plot where the two lines meet. So this is where your point R is located. It is located within the y-axis. Second, we point we plot the point S, which is 0 and negative 2. In this case, your x still remains 0, but your y is now a negative number. So I hope you have now the idea where this point S is being located. Following the same steps, so you will plot the y coordinate, which is at the negative, and your 0 is at the origin, and place where your two line meets, plot the point, and this is now your point S. So this is how you plot an X and Y intercept.